that is concentration exercises practices and recreation can help to reduce the stress which is experienced during pregnancy as stress may be the cause for many uh, other problems like intrauterine growth retardation pregnancy induced hypertension oligodendrons and placental insufficiency is already mentioned the practice of yoga gives the opportunity to create a world for the baby that is healthy and peaceful yoga coordinates movements breath and awareness it addresses health and well being on several levels that is physical emotional psychological and spiritual because of its many benefits and the pleasure derived from its practice the time honored art of yoga is becoming increasingly accepted everywhere as a part of self care during pregnancy and preparation for the child birth and motherhood now these are the exercises which were uh, prescribed uh, tadasan matsyasan let's have a quick overview paryankasan ustrasan vakrasan hastapad angusthasan भद्रासन योग मुद्रा मकरासन शवासन निष्पंदन भाव दीज आर द मसल्स विच आर विच गेट स्ट्रेच ड्यूरिंग दीज डिफरेंट एक्सरसाइजेस अ डाइट प्रिस्क्राइब्ड वॉज light nutritious easily digestible rich in protein minerals and vitamins medicines included iron calcium and vitamin e only so the uh, expenses for medicine was reduced the walk and household activities were uh, suggested slow walk after food routine household work avoiding the heavy weight lifting and in the later months working in the squatting position was uh, advised to facilitate the downward descent of the baby now how yoga techniques has given effect on the physical and mental level first of all we come to the muscle and joints endocrinal relaxation of the pelvic joints faulty posture leading to the increase in the lumbar lordosis and muscle spasm urinary tract infection constipation these are the common causes of backache and this backache can be corrected by proper posture calcium intake some uh, simple exercises during pregnancy there is increase in the width and mobility of certain joints like symphysis pubis and sacroiliac joints there is relaxation of pelvic joints under the influence of hormone relaxin which is uh, produced during pregnancy and release there is gliding movement of symphysis pubis rotator movement of sacroiliac joint coccyx bone is pushed backward resulting into the uh, increase in the diameter of pelvis so making the uh, pelvis more roomy for the proper descent of the baby the yoga exercises strengthen the muscles joints and ligaments by increasing the flexibility and tone of the muscles Now, what is the effect on arteries and veins? Ankle edema is a troublesome problem uh, due to the water retention. Yoga exercises make the vessels supple so that the proper blood flow to the growing uh, baby is facilitated. So, reducing many other problems of diminished blood flow and placental insufficiency like oligodendrons, intrauterine growth retardation, fetal hypoxia, and hypertension during pregnancy. Varicose veins is a, another distressing situation, and this can be reduced by the exercises with the leg elevation. Uterus has got both alpha and beta adrenergic receptors in its musculature and their balance help in the proper functioning of the contractile unit of uterus that is myofibril. Neuralgia of lower limb is also a very common problem which can be improved by regular yoga exercises. Stress is the causative factor for many problems like pregnancy induced hypertension, depression, irritability, insomnia and all this can be prevented by simple relaxing exercises. Postnatal psychosis can also be prevented Uh, by uh, some relaxing techniques like nishpandan bhav now what is the effect on metabolism and hormonal balance atonicity of gut due to the effect of progesterone diminished physical activity and pressure of gravid uterus on pelvic colon causes constipation some of the yoga asanas can help in solving the problem to some extent the basal metabolic rate is increased during pregnancy by 20% due to increase in the net oxygen consumption of mother and baby pituitary thyroid adrenal cortex parathyroid and pancreas show distinct physiological changes during pregnancy leading to increase in the output of respective hormones the basic purpose of these changes is to adjust the baby adjust the internal environment of the mother to meet the additional requirement which are imposed by metabolic changes during pregnancy as well as to meet the extra demands by the growing baby yoga helps to correct the hormonal uh, imbalance for proper functioning thank you One second. 
basically pregnancy and labor uh, delivery of the child is painless primarily speaking labor pains is only a belief system it is not reality i will tell you an example in some communities which are closed closed in the sense which do not interact with uh, the routine mundane world civilian world like south american gypsies the siberian women the maoris and the australian aborigines the natives of africa many parts of africa and also in the united states of america there are countless number of communities where delivery is painless but why people living in towns like ujjain and elsewhere why it is becoming painful it is almost a nightmare it is almost called as second birth for a female why just because we believe that delivery is very painful process it is really painful and they are they have already programmed their minds that delivery is painless if you say a south american gypsy woman delivery is going to be painful she won't believe at all just like we are we are unable to believe those communities having painless deliveries they won't believe us so how yoga helps is yoga erases the belief system forever it will prepare you in a conducive state it it is almost absolutely safe and painless if you see animals animals also won't have pain they may be having discomfort but if you see the, the first delivery of a child for any woman it almost takes 16 hours of grueling time very painful time why just because the belief system is like that and uh, about uh, the trimester the first second and thri- third trimester there are different types of asanas yeah thank you uh, dr neelam tezwani for a brilliant presentation